Well, uh, I was actually born into the boxing world. Uh, the son of the late Atha Maisela, uh, Sham. So, I have been involved in the development of boxing in and around Sowetu and managing for the past 12 years. Tepo Mandawe uh, said loss indeed. We started working with him maybe during his uh, fourth fight. He had already turned professional. So that was around 2014. Uh, Tepo was a, a world champion in the making. He, uh, he was dedicated, he was disciplined. He was hardworking and uh, he really put in a whole lot of effort into his uh, trade and gym, disciplined on time and uh, loved boxing. You know? So he was a very dedicated young man. Yeah, basically, you know, Amai Chita, they tend to uh, also want to be part of his society, his Pilabu which is very difficult in a way to separate the two because uh, if you are a boxer, you are required to live a certain lifestyle. You know, you are not supposed to be mixing with the, your local friends and doing local things where you uh, meet with girls and uh, you go out partying at night because you must be very early up in the early in the morning, like about four o'clock, three o'clock. Some guys you must be up and hitting the road and jogging. So how are you gonna maintain having gone out the previous night party? So yeah, we would always like you know tell him, "Buti, daughter, cut down on, on these visits to these places because." Even when he gets to these places, uh, when he comes to the gym on Monday, we hear stories that he was involved and people tell us in the community because they know which we are his uh, leaders and managers. And they will come to us and complain to say, this guy is bullying people around and you know. Uh, uh, we would obviously try and reprimand him and tell him you know, that this way of living is not good for you, so stop. And it was a long time coming and when it happened, it was, it didn't hit us as a surprise, as if we would have done that because we knew that that's the type of life that we like and complaints were there all the time for him. And, but it was a sad loss because we, uh, we had anticipated bigger things for him and now uh, he was a very good prospect and we think he was going to really become some sort of like a world champion of some type because he was a good boy.